How to start a pig farm in Ghana, raising pigs for profit. My name is Eric, a young farmer from Ghana. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe, like and share the video with your friends. Finding the best return on your investment when raising pigs for profit is the ultimate goal. Piglets are cute and fun to watch, but they grow quickly and require a lot of grain to grow to market weight. They are able to eat grass and most food that humans eat. To start your pig farming venture, it is necessary to ask if you should raise and sell the piglets as feeder pigs, or raise to market weight. Methods of raising pigs for profit, as with many livestock business ideas, there are many ways to raise pigs for profit. But you do need to have a working idea of how pigs should be raised in the environment you have set up. If you are going to be a small producer, you need to have a plan on how that will work. Pens, pastures, concrete slabs, or wooded settings are some that come to mind. You do not need to start a large hog growing operation in order to make a profit. The time from buying a feeder pig, raising it, to market size is in the range of 6 to 8 months. The market for small farm produced pork products is good. Consumers are happy to find the taste of pork from their younger days is making a return. It can be argued that, intensive raised pork meat can't hold a candle to the taste of locally raised pork from free-range farms. However, the returns on profit from intensive farming is quicker. I would argue one of your first considerations should be who you will market your product to. When you have farm piglets for sale, you need to move them quickly, or the feed costs will begin to eat into your profit. If you are raising the pigs to a market weight of about 60 to 85 kg, who will be buying the carcass or the meat cuts? Restaurants? The general public? Friends and family are likely to want to try your product, initially. The piglets will keep arriving and you will need to enlarge your buyer list. Raising pigs for profit requires some forethought about who the buyer will be. Identify your buyer, as your business grows, the ideal buyer may change. If you have marketed your product well, new opportunities will appear. Smaller markets are often willing to pay premium prices for a superior tasting product. Costs associated with raising pigs for profit, the first category is infrastructure. It's hard to look at the infrastructure as a cost when raising pigs, but it must be counted in for a true cost figure. Don't forget to include transportation costs, fuel, trailer, crates, or whatever else is necessary for you to do business. Costs associated with raising pigs for profit, the feed cost will be your largest amount per pig sold. For a small producer using 50 pound, 6 kilograms, sacks of feed that equals 15 bags of feed per pig, to grow to market weight. Depending on the breed of pigs you have, your figure will vary slightly based on the feed conversion per bag of feed. Feeding kitchen and garden scraps is a good way to add more variety to the pig's diet but this won't add a significant amount of calories. Ask local markets if you can collect the trimmings from the produce department to feed to your hogs. Be cautious about feeding excess baked goods to your hogs, as the manure can take on a very strong smell if pigs eat a lot of processed, sugary, baked goods. Miscellaneous costs include straw bedding, worming medications, and iron injections of farrowing if you choose to add that practice to your routine care. When raising piglets to sell as packaged meat, keep in mind the processing fees for the butcher. There is routinely a kill fee in addition to the actual cost of getting the meat processed. Cured meat might be an additional fee. Call around in your area for estimates. There may be only certain days the butcher processes hogs, so plan ahead. At what age should you sell? Feeders are young pigs after weaning, weighing between 35 and 50 pounds. Feeders are sold to other producers or farms that want to grow them to market weight. This would seem to be your most effective selling point. The feeder pigs will not have a considerable feed cost in them at this point. 
growing slash finishing pigs weigh between 60 to 85 kilograms and are being fed for market weight. Growers will bring more money but you will have already put more feed into them, so price accordingly. There is a bit of a grey area in the terms, feeder and grower. Some farmers may use them interchangeably. Breeders consist of gilts or boars. One boar can serve quite a few gilts and sows. Selling potential breeding stock can bring extra money if you have piglets showing good potential. Pig farming is highly lucrative, however, it is a supply and demand market. When the demand is high, the prices of pigs soars. When prices fall, producers often slow up production to increase demand. As a small producer, you'll want to have an idea of the current price of pork. When selling to private markets, you may not be as affected by the commodity pricing as you would be selling to large hog grower operations, or at the auctions. However, when investing in any market product, it's good practice to follow the trends and pricing. Many farmers start their livestock operations by raising pigs for profit. Pigs can be an economical way to get a good return on your initial investment if you keep track of your expenses and infrastructure costs. Remember that, pig farming is highly profitable venture slash. Thank you very much for watching, please like and subscribe to the video.